Yo, 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 what's up guys, it's Manatosh here, and I am back for my draft recap of the GPC Season 6, and boy am I excited, oh my god, I'm actually so excited for this season. Although, last season was a complete tragedy and I sucked absolute balls, like big ass balls, and finished 4-7. and seven. I'm hoping that this season I can do a little bit better and maybe even go for that uh, championship. I definitely want to get playoffs, 100% playoffs. And when, when you get to playoffs, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows if, you know, my Arceus is going to crit extreme speed everything for the next three t matches, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And I could be crown champion, but who knows? I just want to make it to playoffs. That's goal number one. We've got to stay focused and we've got to make it to playoffs. Now, of course you're here for the draft recap. So, things we have to go over before we start the draft recap is that the GPC is a points draft system. That means we are given 100 points and we have to draft mons, which all vary from different ranges of points from 1 to about 20. Mega Venusaur being 20 in the highest and freaking Mudkip being 1 at the lowest. Um, all the other mons, depending on how good they are, range from that that amount so you really want to get uh, a good variety of mods so you have a, a, a good solid team without not having loads of really strong ones and loads of really weak ones although that is definitely a part you can go as long as you pick and choose your weak ones so they're actually really good value picks in my opinion anyway and that is what i actually tried to do this draft however 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 i also wanted my top picks to be value picks if that makes any sense if that makes any sense for example my first pick that you can see on your screen right now cost me 16 points now i think lefable is one of the best mons in the format for 16 points i think that's an absolute steal i think lefable definitely could have been 18 points and people still would draft it um so that's what i mean by value picks <clears throat> but a low amount so Let's go over Clefable. Clefable's nickname is going to be Bridget. Um, of course, for any of these mods, if you guys think my nickname is absolute trash and you've got a better, better nickname, let me know in the comment section down below. However, there will be a few that I'm not too sure on, and I would love, 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 love if you guys could contribute to that. That would be amazing. So, Clefable here is a fairy type. That's a check off one of the tick lists. It gives me stealth rock, so that's a check off, one of, on, off the tick list. It can set up, check. Thunder wave, check. Clefable is just an incredible mod. Um, I even get Calm Mind. Uh, I even get Calm Mind. I just said I can set up. Um, I can even have uh, Calm Mind or, or Cosmic Power Stored Power, which is scary um, for my opponents. That's very, very scary for my opponents. Um, I get Belly Drum Drain Punch, so that's a thing. Uh, you can get Encore, which Mark used against me last season really, really well to stop my Runicus setting up on it and uh, Snorlax, but I didn't bring Snorlax, but you know. Gets Healing Wish if I need it, which is awesome. That's actually a tick off the box as well. Even gets Knock Off for Utility, if I so need. Maybe if they've got a, uh, a Chansey or Blissey. Um, not Blissey, more Chansey. Um, and I know they're going to have to switch in their ch Chansey on me, although I probably sell it to full anyway. So um, I get Thunder Wave, of course, and I get Trick. Watch me trick someone on a Choice Scout this season. Just watch that. I promise you it will happen. I promise you it will happen. Okay. So the other good thing about Chansey is it can be defensive in both defense and special defense um, as it's got decent decent defense of 73 and decent special defense of 90. It can basically have any item. I can be offensive with life or magic guard. But the thing that really makes Chansey is it's amazing typing with the abilities magic guard and unaware. Those are the two, in my opinion, the two best. Maybe magic bounce in there as well. Defensive Pokemon abilities out there. Um, and regenerator is pretty good as well. Um, but, you know, it's they're definitely up there. I absolutely love this mod. Um, it's great in standard play and the league format. I think it's absolutely magical. Um, I, it, it's just, I just, it just baffles me how, how this thing lives. It just continually lives everything, but its stats are so average. 93 HP, 70 attack, 73 defense, 95 special attack, 90 speed def, and 60 speed. I just, I simply don't understand I really, really don't understand how this thing is so good, but it is. It must be its typing, the ability, and it just has this perfect formula of defensiveness and a de decent special attack that, that, that makes it a great mon. So, next up, I've got myself a Stealth Rocker. Um, I actually had these two planned from the beginning. Um, I wanted these two and a Bulky Water. I actually walked, watched the Token Minorities video uh, drafting with the Elite uh, recently afterwards, and I was like, I actually really want to try that core. Although I didn't really use the video um, as a guide. Although, I, I mean, they have a list, and I helped that with my checklist, but the thing is, is they were doing an open draft, and when you're doing a point system draft, you've got, you can't have all those things. It's, it, it's nearly impossible um, to have all those things. Obviously, it's not, but uh, I tried to have them last season, and I did manage having them, but I just, I didn't, I didn't have a single OU Mon or Mon that was a top, top threat in the draft format. Reuniclus was uh, my, my best Mon by far. 
by far was really my best run until I dropped loads of stuff and got Lando Y and then I started doing a lot better. But whatever. <laughs> Lando Y is an absolute monster and went undrafted. So whoop -oof. So maybe we'll just uh, do some drops in mid-season and get, get Lando Y back. <laughs> um, but this next one, although it has a full time speaking, it is absolutely amazing and it was my mega and it was the second part to my fairy steel dragon core. And that is my mega scissor. Now this thing is going to be called Edward because of Edward, Edward Scissorhands. I'm really not sure that sure about that nickname. If any of you guys have a better nickname in the comment section down below, let me know, please, because I'm not that happy with this nickname, but I'm not really too fast at the same time. So obviously Scizor is an absolutely amazing mod, has bulk rivaling Skarmory, which is just insane. Skarmory has 70 um, HP and Scizor has 144, and so does Scizor. Skarmory has 140 defense, so does Scizor, but Skarmory has like 70 or 80 special defense and Scizor has 100. The only thing that Skarmory has that Scizor doesn't um, is, doesn't have a four times weakness, um, but Skarmory has more weaknesses and um, Skarmory doesn't have the 150 base attack stat and can't set up. I mean, it can, but not in the same way. Scizor is just it's an absolute monster. And it, of course, in the draft league format, um, having the four times weakness of fire is a bit of a bring down. But at the same time, this thing cost me 16 points. This thing is a top threat. This thing is an absolute top threat. 100% this thing uh, will we'll take lives if you don't plan for it. And it's 16 points. I feel like it could have been 17 or 18 points. Although I do think it's priced right at 16 points. But I just think it, at the same time, it's good value. Because I'm not spending all, all my points. I know I'm spending a lot. I spent 32 points out of my 100. Holy crap, 30% of my points. In two picks which is not great um you guys are gonna see uh, i'm gonna be spending quite a lot of points you guys are definitely gonna see me spending quite a lot of points and these two match up so well together um i mean poison poison moves don't affect um sizzle and sizzle is going to take any steel type move i'll tell you that right now sizzle won't take any steel type move and that's the only thing bridget is weak too so that is absolutely amazing um, also, it has really good coverage. Uh, it gives me a U-turn as well, which is check, and a defogger, which is check. Um, so, I, and I get more setup, which is just check. And I can even baton pass. <laughs> I can even baton pass um, a speed or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Attack uh, with my sword dancing. Um, I get knockoff. I get U-turn. I get um, bullet punch, of course, which gives me priority. Check. <laughs> um, it's giving priority a bottom, bottom pass for more um, momentum moves. I get roost, of course, for reliable recovery, which is awesome. Superpower, toxic. I even get tailwind. It, it, it does some awesome stuff. Um, obviously, there's some stuff I'm not going to quite go over, although uh, it doesn't have, like, it has a few tricks up its sleeve. Let's just say it has a few tricks up its sleeve. So, next up. I knew I wanted um, Scizor and Fable, and I wanted a bulky water type. Um, and I was near the middle slash the end of the middle of the draft. I would say I was in the middle, but I, the next person would be at the end, and I, I was in the middle. So I was kind of on the verge of middle at the end of the draft. Um, so I was going to get another pick in about eight picks. And I figured there's so many bulky water types. I did want a good bulky water type. I wanted um, Milotic, uh, Suicune, Slowbro, or uh, Vaporeon. Those were the four I had in mind. I wanted a, a quite a highly priced one um, to match with these two because it did just it, the synergy is just 100% there. It is literally 100% there um, with bulky water type. However, I also wanted a dragon type to pair along with that, um, and I thought that this dragon type is much more likely to go. Um, it is just and more like it's harder to replace this dragon type there definitely are other dragon dancers like it but i think it is the best at what it does in the draft lead format uh, maybe one other rivaling it and that one other rivaling it would be dragonite and the one that i picked was salamance salamance is an absolute monster in the draft lead format this thing cost me 15 points once again which i mean i could have got it with a z move oh that's something i really should have mentioned Every team is allowed to pick up one Zemu, one Zemon. You don't have to pick up a Zemon, but you are allowed to pick up a Zemon. Um, and when you've picked up a Zemon, um, that Mon has to bring its Zemu, its a Z crystal for four games out of all the games. Otherwise, you can bring any other item. Also, all Zemus are allowed except Omni boosting Zemus. Omni boosting being boosting every single stat like uh, conversion, celebrate, all that jazz. No Porygon Z. No thank you. Goodbye. See you later. Um, but this thing to get because it's so good with the Z crystal it, they increase in points and this Zalamance would have been 18 points But it's 15 points without Z crystal. So I want to snag that up that gives me a dragon dance Which gives me more setup and I love setup um, especially dragon dancing setup. I think 
I think it's probably one of my best playstyles is uh, setting up and winning, potentially, which I didn't have that much of last week. And I'm talking about offensive setup, not um, Carmine and Sizzle, which are both uh, defensive setups. If that makes any sense, can you defensive setup like Reunica's Carmine's defensive setup? I don't know if that if that's a thing, but I'm saying it's a thing. I'm bringing it. You guys spread the word. Defensive setup and offensive setup. New thing. I invented it. Love that. Salamence is the best move pool. I will. <laughs> I say the best. I like to over-exaggerate. <laughs> um, Salamence gets an incredible move pool. Uh, obviously, Dragon Stab is amazing. Um, it can be phys 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 physical and special. Um, with 110 special attack and 135 attack. Obviously, it's going to be more um, of a attacking pressure, physical pressure. Um, but... Because of the Dragon Dance as well. Um, but I can run um, Draco Media and get my Moxie Boost off, uh, I don't know, something that's really strong defensively, but not that special defensively. Alamomola, although they're going to bring Mix for sure. But you know what I'm saying. Um, you know what I'm saying. I can get my Moxie Boost up and then I've got Attack and then click Outrage, Outrage, Outrage and do the dirty work. It also gives me an Intimidator, which is check because Intimidator is actually really, really useful in the uh, Draft League format. Um, and Moxie is an incredible ability, of course. It is a Choice Scarf Moxie. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boop, boop. Easy wins. Easy, easy, easy wins. Um, obviously, Life Orb. I can even run Assault Vest. I can even run a bulky set um, with Intimidate, and it gets Defog. So that is check. Although it's not the best Defogger, it is still a Defogger. It's there, it's there if I need it. Um, it is definitely there if I need it, and it can be uh, a fire switching, you know, if I'm defensive. But that's going to be very, very rare. That is going to be very, very, very rare. Um, so next, like I said, I wanted to get a bulky water, and it came around. And I had one that I wanted the most. Um, and I actually got that one. Hadn't been sniped yet. I haven't been sniped. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Slowbro. I think Slowbro is awesome. It's just such a good mod. It has Regenerator, which is just such a good ability. Um, Oblivious is not going to be that useful unless I really need to set up Calm Minds and he's got loads of Taunt users. Um, but other than that, it's not going to be that useful. A Regenerator is what I'm going to be bringing most weeks. With an awesome move pool, I'm pretty sure Amungus, I'm not sure if he gets electric, electric type move. No, he does get Thunder Wave though, which is awesome. Again, great support. But he gets Flamethrower, he gets Skull, he gets Ice Beam. Um, he even gets um, Earthquake, which is just crazy. Focus Blast. He gets Grass Knot, um, Magic Coat, of course. He gets Calm Mind set up. He gets Trick Room and my team is you're going to see is not that fast so trick room is definitely something that i can consider at the back of my mind and so should my opponents at all times they should be considering trick room because my team is really not that fast you, you guys will see in later picks it is really really not that fast um obviously there are means i can do with slow bro like belly drum um so i've got two belly drum users into fable and slow bro which is just Perfect, I'm joking. Um, but if I haven't have a mean match, I'm going to be bringing Benny Drum Slowbro. I'll tell you that right now. I've got Trick again. Again, watch me watch me trick a uh, choice scarf from something onto a Slowbro. Um, that would be Pengalang or Rooney. Um, <clears throat> and this thing just with the. The thing is with these first four mons is that they just synergize so well. And I understand that I've got two uh, full times weaknesses already, which is uh, not that great. But it, my opponent does have to pick and choose between them. And the reason they both have four times weaknesses is because they do synergize really well together. These four, the synergy, and you're going to see with my next one actually. So I'm actually going to wait till I go over the synergy properly with them. Um, but but my next one really helps. It's an amazing partner with uh, Mega Sizzle. However, originally I wanted Infernape because um, I wanted to get a fire type basically. I wanted Infernape. Um, it gave me a fighting type, which is it, great to have. It gives me some speed. It gave me another stealth blocker, which is amazing. Unfortunately, it got a snipe for me, but I think it might be for the better because the other one I was going to pick after Infernic was the one that I did pick, and that is Heatran. Going to be named Forge. Um, oh, again, also Salamance, and uh, it's called Balanor, but I'm really not sure about the nickname. Balanor is the, the dragon from Merlin, um, so that's why I nicknamed it that. But if you guys have a Benedict Salamance nickname, please let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really not sure. But let's go back to Forge with the Heatran. Um, with flash fire, meaning you can't just go for a fire type move against Sizzle. It's just, it's not that simple. Hidden power fire, you've got to have hidden power fire or hidden power ground. Um, and they're both going to be able to switch in reasonably well. They're both very bulky mons. Unfortunately, Heatran does not get reliable recovery. I think if it did, it would be a little bit too good. Um, and probably wouldn't be an OU if it got reliable recovery. Maybe it would. I don't know. It would. I would hate to deal with Heatran with reliable recovery. I'd say that right now. I would despise that. It gets really good uh, coverage. It gets earth power, fire blast, um, dragon pulse, dark pulse. I think it gets rock moves um let's let's have a little scroll down everyone every i would i mean i would say i'm going to try and hide stuff but everyone can scroll through moves uh, obviously it gets hidden powers 
Protect Rest, Rock Slide, the sub, Taunt is pretty cool, Willisp and Toxic. Um, obviously, I'm sure there's some schemes I can run with Heatran. Um, and it is actually, and this is important, it is my my fire. I need to go fire him. It doesn't have to be a fire MZ. Okay, let's just go normally. Um, it is my Zemon. Heatran is my Zemon. It was no extra points. I thought it'd be really good because you know you can run Bloom Doom. Um, solar power, bloom doom, solar power, solar beam, bloom doom. Um, my computer's shaking because I lifted up my table with my knee. Oh no. Um, bloom doom, and that is going to stop bulky waters just from walling it, basically. Um, and that's great. The other thing I could run uh, to help me with bulky waters is toxic, and then I can definitely wear it down with my team. And Bridget can just come with magic gun and set up on most bulky waters. Although I suppose most bulky waters will also get haze, so uh, it's kind of an if and a but about it. But either way, Bridget's still going to beat the bulky water, especially when it's toxic. So uh, that's good news. Um, and yeah, it, it's basically for Bloom Doom. Obviously, I can run the um, the Inferno Overdrive. Uh, there's not really much else. Heatran can do. Um, obviously, it gets rocks as well, which is a massive check. I've now got two rockers, two defoggers, and that is just like that's amazing. Um, and it gives me a fire immunity, which is fantastic. Um, so I can run sub as well, sub um, toxic protect. Pui set, um, rest if I really want to be that guy, um, but that, that's Heatran, it's pretty good one, it's got amazing stats, obviously not got that speed that I wanted originally, but it's got 130 um, special attack, 106 in both defensive, 91 HP and 77 speed, which means it can be a Scarfer for sure and will outspeed um, most things on other people's team once it's got to a Scarf. So next up I wanted to complete my Fire, Water, Grass Court. Now here is where in my opinion, I start making mistakes because um, I didn't get sniped. It's not that I got sniped, it's that I made mistakes in my draft. These first five mons I'm very, very happy with. I'm extremely happy with. Um, and it's not like my next mons are bad, but you guys are going to see. Before I go over that, I know now that I have three four times weaknesses, and it's not preferable in the draft league format to have that, but. It really makes my opponent start to pick and choose between fire, ice, and ground. Um, the other thing is, is okay, so if they have Hidden Power Fire, um, then for Scizor, then um, Balamore resists and Heatran, Balamore, Angus, the Slowbro, and Forge, the Heatran, all resist or are immune. Um, if they have Hidden Power Ground for um, Forge, Edward is going to be able to take that on, it's neutral. It's not even going to affect Balamore. Um, Angus is going to be able to take it on really, really well, and so is Bridget. So next up, if they're going to have Hidden Power Ice, then um, it's not going to do anything to Bridget, although it doesn't resist it. Same with Scizor. Angus and Forge. Um, Angus resists it and Forge four times resists it. It's just, these guys have such good syn synergy together. Um, and to be honest with you, a very, very strong Earthquaker here would be very troublesome. And this is what I didn't look at when going through my draft. See, if I was to draft a bulky grass type that um, was... Okay, so... Let's go ahead and tell you my pick. My pick was Amoongus. Now, I know Amoongus is great. It's a great mon, and that's why I picked it. I was very happy with that. That's a solid water fire grass core. I get the regenerator boost. It synergizes really, really well with Slowbro because it's weak to Psychic, and Slowbro resists that. Then, um, you know, it, it, it works really well with Slowbro. Um, but because of that poison typing, Amoongus is now neutral to ground, and that means a really strong ground type will wreck my life. Not one word of a lie, it will wreck my life. I just, I don't have a good matchup against um, against ground types whatsoever. Um, so far anyway, so far. Um, and the thing is, is I'm going to tell you guys, it, it, it's a running theme. I did not realize this during my draft because I thought I was just so bulky and I had such good synergy that and I, I just didn't realize. So, uh, and the other thing was, is I didn't get a chance. This is uh, nearly coming to the first week. This is Friday, this is gonna go up on Saturday. Um, and I just haven't had time to look over my draft at all. I was really busy during the draft. Actually, no, not the beginning, but near the end of the draft, I was really, really busy. Um, it didn't affect my picks at all because I had like a rough plan. I had a list of mons that I written, had written out and stuff, um, but, <sighs> And then I haven't had the time to look over my look over my draft. So in Grace Week, I thought my team was fine because I had a quick little scan over it, and I didn't, I just didn't see the ground weakness. Um, and it is, it is going to be a problem. But I am going to change my team in the um, in the first transfer period. So uh, that would be week three. Um, so we're going to have to live with it um, for week three, and I'm going to have to keep my fingers crossed that in week three I do not play people with humongous ground type threats. That that. 
that's basically the end of it. Because um, if I do, it, it's going to be troublesome. Obviously, I can play around it. I can run Sugar Berry. Um, I can run Air Balloon on my um, Heat Trial. It's not. It's not like they've got uh, Guard Trump. They've won. They've won. Of course, they haven't won. Um, I freaking got. Balamor is going to be out that speed. Bridget can still take Garchomp upon really, really well. Um, I've got Angus, which is like a freaking defensive monster. It's not the end of the world, but it is something that I do want to change. Um, and I am going to change about my team. Um, so, guys, in about three weeks' time, look out <laughs> for that transfer window video because that is going to be happening, I promise. But going to Amoongus, it still has great stats. It's got the regenerator, like I said, it pairs really, really well with Amoongus, um, uh, Slowbro, uh, and Heatran in terms of synergy. 114 HP, which is nuts. Um, 85 special attack and attack. Um, 70 defense and 80 special defense. It's not that much, but if you can run an assault vest on this thing and max defensive, it takes hit for days. Or you can just run it one defensive or the other, or even mix. Um, it gets spore as well, which that is the reason I chose it. I got so hung up on wanting spore because of the way it forces people to plan with safety goggles. For example, if they have Latios or Latias, then they bring the safety goggles for the Amoongus, um, most likely, because it, it, just, it just gives them such a sway switch, switch in, and they can go for a Calm Mind on the switch, uh, and it's good news for them. They can run safety goggles, Calm Mind, and um, my team is not going to be dealing with that. Imagine freaking, let's just say, Latias with safety goggles, Calm Mind, Earthquake, and Psychic, or something like that, uh, and they come into my Amoongus, they get a Calm Mind up. I can't go into my Heatran. Sizzle's going to take a load from it. Uh, if they weaken Sizzle down, it's it, it, it's it's just problematic for my team. Um, and they, they, maybe they have another default, but who knows? Um, but Amoongus is still a great mod, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to utilize it while I still have it. And maybe it won't be Amoongus I'm getting rid of, but I think at the moment it most likely will be. So that actually goes out to any of the other GPC guys. If you guys have a Boggy Grass type that you would like to trade for Amoongus, then hit me up, um, and I'll see if I'd like to do that. Maybe I won't, because maybe I might just wait till week three. We shall see. But next up, I'm going to go to the next six months. Um, it's not six months. I didn't pick. I didn't draft twelve months. Hashtag spoilers. But I'll see you guys there. Okay. So the next month that I picked was Skun Tank. Uh, I absolutely love Skun Tank. It's an absolute beast. I needed the Dark type. It was five points. Amoongus was eleven points, by the way. Um, and Slowbro was twelve. So that's a fucking steal for Slowbro. And so is Heatran. All twelve points. But I am running out of points here. I think I've got twenty something points left. Uh, I think I've got five. Uh, 8, 12, 18 points or something, along those lines. And Stella was 5 points, Stella the Scum Tank here, Poison Dark type, it gives me a Poison type, which along with Moongus' Gout, which gives me a, uh, a Fairy switch in, um, although he's going to be neutral to Fairy, but it's great, it's still great, I can um, stop, I can have Haze, I can have um, Clear Smog, uh, do you get Clear Smog? No, but Amoongus gets Clear Smog and you get Haze. 100% you get Haze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Haze, um, which is absolutely fantastic. You get Acid Spray. Sucker Punch again, so it gives me more priority, which is Amaze Balls once again. And it's now Defog is amazing, and that gives me two proper Defoggers, which is just... Um, so I've got three Defoggers, but Salamance is more of an offensive one, but occasionally I can bring it as a Defogger. I do not want that to be Salamance's role whatsoever. Um, but... It's, it's definitely something that I can keep in the back of mind. It gets Flamethrower for those steel types, um, like, I don't know, maybe Magirna or something. I'm not too sure. Could be anything. Um, and I can just go for the Fire Blast on the Switch, whatever I feel like doing. Um, items as Assault Vest is, is is great, although that does stop me from using Defog. Um, and it gets a, a decent ability in Aftermath that I can utilize to my best ability, but they have to make contact. Um, but as you can see, again, this is another ground weakness. Um... And that's not great for me. But again, I didn't realize I needed the dark type. I needed the poison type. Um, and it's another ground weakness. But what are you going to do? So, next up, I really wanted a uh, a ground type. I would I wanted a ground type. That was what I wanted. And I wanted Pillow Swine. It gave me I offensive ice coverage. It gave me a ground type. It's ridiculously bulky. Josh used it so well last season. Um, and I used it in the Pika tryout tournament. Um... And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's so good. It was six points. Such a steal for six points. So bulky. Uh, and actually has a hundred attack, which is decent. Um, so you can run it offensive or as a tank with Evil Eye. It's just like so bulky. It's unreal. But unfortunately, Josh, who was about four picks uh, ahead of me, I think, um, sniped it from me. The turn I was going to pick it. And I was so annoyed. Um, and I so nearly got it instead of Scan Tank, but then I thought there's not many other cheap defoggers, so I'm going to go ahead and grab Scan Tank. Which I am, I think that was the right decision. If Scan Tank got sniped, then that would have been bad news bears. 
but I really want a pillar's twine. So I was looking and I was like, hmm, okay. There's not many bulky ground types that I want for six points. So uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll upgrade and deground one of my mons, or maybe I'll downgrade. And there was a few that I could downgrade to, and I was looking at six point mons, and I thought, oh, hello there. And I saw this mon, and I thought, I don't have that much offensive pressure, and I don't have a wall breaker. So I went and grabbed the wall breaker in the form of X Bloud. Um, this is going to be called Fus Roar Da because of the shout from uh, Skyrim. But again, if you have a better nickname, please let me know in the comments section down below because I'm not really too sure. And this thing is basically like one move wonder. I'm just going to click boom blast. If, it, if there's a steel type, I can run flamethrower, um, focus blast, whatever I need to do. Um, if there's a normal type, focus blast. Um, but boom burst normally does the damage anyway. Choice specs, boom burst with 91 attack is just devastating. To be honest with you, it's just devastating. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really good. Again, it's slow. It is slow. My team is generally slow. Um, but... I'm 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 happy with this thing. I think it's going to work out really well. I think hopefully I can use it well. Uh, I used Emboard decently well last season. That's kind of similar in a completely different way. Um, it even gets uh, Taunt and Seismic Toss if I need to run a Toxic. It can get Sub as well, um, which is cool. And uh, I'm not really sure what else I could go for. Mm, Crunch maybe if uh, if they've got a Re Uniclus uh, and it's going to set up Calm Minds on me. I could uh, run Taunt and Crunch or something. I don't know. Who will ever know? Um, and that, that's basically that's basically X, but I'm not really too much to say about this thing. Um, 104 HP means it does live a few hits as well, although it doesn't have the best defense and special defense being 63 and uh, 73 re retrospectively. Retrospectively? Yes, I think that's the word. That's mm, respectively, not retrospectively, respectively. Um, yeah, bad English. Who cares? Let's move on. I got a B, just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> so next up, I decided to go and grab my ground type. Again... Like I said, this thing is not going to be taking Earthquakes well. It's not going to be taking Earthquakes well. The only good thing it does get is that it gets Ice Beam for ground types. That's fantastic. And it's going to do a lot to them with Boom Burst as they tend to be physically defensive. Um, so next up is going to be my ground type. And I went and it's only four points. This guy was six points. And it was only four points. So I went and picked up Horny the Ride On because I'm a little boy and I find Horny funny. Um, but if you guys, again, have a better nickname, I really did not have a nickname at all. Um, so if you guys have a better nickname, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, this thing gives me another Stealth Rocker, which is... Um, it gets double dance, which is pretty cool. It can actually sweep teens. Um, Earthquake is amazing priority. It gives me another four times weakness, which I think in this scenario now is a good thing. Um, because if they have an electric type, they can't just slang HP ice on there. Because I could be, I could uh, use my ride on as my immunity, and they'd be like, "What?" That's exactly how they'd say it. Exactly like that. They'd be like, "What?" <laughs> um, uh, but again, it may not be a good thing. I don't know. And again, it's another ground weakness. Another, another ground weakness. Uh, and I just, I've got one resistance and no, no, I've got one immunity and no resistances. Um, and, and that's another weakness. I know this thing is extremely bulky. You can definitely live at least one earthquake with the Evil Light. It becomes a absolute tank. I'll tell you that right now. It becomes such a little demon. Um, but... Uh, and it gets really good coverage. I get Fire um, Fang. I get Ice Fang. I don't know if I get Thunder Fang, though. Um, I do get Thunder Fang. I get the Punches, actually, so that's better. Um, I get Mega Horn if I need it, which is just amazing. Um, Sword Stance, of course, Toxic. Stealth Rocks um, is amazing. I can even run um, Rockhead and have Double Edge or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't think you get Head Smash, do you? No, you do not get Head Smash, which which is kind of sucky. I could run um, Scarf if I really needed to, um, and that would, that would give me some decent speed, I guess. Um, but it could definitely catch people off guard, and with 130 attack, that's nothing to sneeze at whatsoever. I mean, I'm not going to run Scarf because that would give me around 250 speed, which is absolutely dreadful. Um, so next up, I wanted a fast electric type. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. It's another ground weakness. I know. But I wanted a fast electric type. I had three points left. Um, and I think this thing is actually a bit of a steal. So my options were I could have Zeb Striker which um, is really fast uh, and gives me an electric immunity, which is cool. And I wanted an electric immunity in my electric type. I thought that was that, that was something that would be useful. Um, there was Electrode, which is super duper fast, um, but it doesn't have, it lacks, and same with Zebstriker, lacks, I mean, all, they all lack um, offensive pressure, really. Um, but these two are faster. The one I went and grabbed was Manetric. Um, bolt the Manetric here because it just has that 105 special attack which makes it just so much more of a uh, 
a special offensive pressure. I can run Spectre and it's actually going to do damage rather than Spectre Electrode, which is, you know, I mean, it's going to do damage to a water type, but nothing else is really going to do damage to. Or is this thing? It, it, 105 special attack is decent. It has a lightning rod, I think. No, yeah, lightning rod. Um, so that's pretty cool um, because I'm, I have an electric immunity. And well, my fire speed is decent. It's not great, but it's decent. It's decent speed compared to the rest of my team. It is actually the fastest thing on my team, which is kind of dreadful. Um, of course, it doesn't have the best coverage, but it, it, it's going to be the whole um, thunderbolt, flamethrower, um, hidden power of some sort, um, and then whatever I see fit, probably volt switch. Um, and you can run uh, signal beam, I believe it gets. Um, uh, overheat if I need the extra power. Toxic, thunder wave, wild charge. I don't know why I'd ever run that. Um, and I can run freaking light screen. <laughs> or I can run the toxic protect set if I want to. Um, but that is going to end up the team. That was the end of the team. I know. I know it's not. I like. I do like my team because I like the mods that I've got. Especially these first five, and I, I think he's, I like all my mons. I think they're all good mons, uh, and they synergize reasonably well, except for that one big earthquake weakness. And I think if uh, Amoongus was a bulkier grass type without the poison typing, it'd be a great team, uh, and I'd be doing a lot. Like I wouldn't be thinking about changing it. I'd have a bit of, I'd have an earthquake weakness, but at the moment it is a real weak point in my team and I am going to be looking to change it. I, it is very, very, very unfortunate I did not realise this um, in Grace Week because I just, I simply did not have the time to look through my team. But that is what it is. Um, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I haven't looked at my matchup that um, I don't have a big uh, offensive ground user uh, in my first three weeks. I mean, one is fine. Two is really horrible. And if I have three I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. Um, but we're gonna do our best. I'm sure there's there's planning to the league format. You can plan around that stuff. You can plan around that stuff. So I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be putting all my all into the season and going for the title. Have no doubts about that. Extra Chief Elect Devise are actually going for it, for it this season. Um, but that is gonna be all from me today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, well, before that, before that, before that, if you guys have nicknames for Sizzle, Salamance, uh, X Cloud and Rhydon, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, Animungus, I got him fun guy, I like it, whatever. <laughs> um, let me know in the con comment section down below. Let me know how you would change it if you. If, if, if you could draft the team, what would you change? I know it's a point system, but let me know roughly. If Obviously, don't be like, mm, yeah, I would have drafted uh, Rhyperia instead of Rhydon uh, because they're the same amount of points. And don't be like, well, I would have had Raikou instead of Manetric. Don't know why you drafted Manetric. Don't be that guy. It'd be like, oh, I would have drafted Electrode over Manetric or even, you know, something around the same tier. Um, if they're in the same tier, let me know. Maybe there'll be more points either way, but it's hard for you guys to know. But if they're in the same tier, if Salamance, I would have drafted Dragonite instead of Salamance. Or I would have drafted Arcanine instead of Heatran. Or I would have drafted Flordris instead of Clefable. Let me know. I want to know. I love to talk to you guys. Um, but that is going to be all for me today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like rating down below. If you are feeling like an absolute legend, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. But other than that, I'll smell you later.